hi guys my name is nancy in this tutorial i'd like to show you how to make a bra cup i've come to realize that so many people find it difficult to get their bra cup size in the tailoring store to achieve the bra cup size we'll be working with two essential measurements which is the vertical and the horizontal bra cup measurements please make sure you wear a firm bra before taking any measurements to achieve a accurate bra cup size so i'll start by taking the horizontal measurement of the bra cup by placing the tape on the breastbone which is the center between the two breasts moving down to the breast point which is the upper part of the bust and ends at the side of the bust so my horizontal measurement is nine inches the next measurement is the vertical measurement which is the length of the bra cup this measurement is taken by placing the tape at the upper part of the bust moving down to the nipple point and ends at the under bust so here i have 7.5 inches so let's get started yeah i have the pattern paper folded into two so the first step is to take the horizontal measurements which is nine inches and the next step is to take the vertical measurements which is 7.5 inches Now I'll create a square shape by connecting the points together making sure that the horizontal line is also 9 inches and the vertical line is 7.5 inches as shown. The next step is to get the midpoint of the two horizontal line by dividing 9 inches into two. Then you connect the points together. Now the next step is to get the midpoint of the two vertical line by dividing 7.5 inches into two then you connect the points together now we have four quadrants which we will label a b c and d once you have gotten the four quadrants correctly using the accurate measurements the next step is to work with a standard measurement for all bra cup size which is in centimeters so the point where the two lines meet is called the bust point which is the nipple on the line between A and B, I'll mark 2 cm on both sides, which I'll connect to the bust point. So because I have 2 cm here, I'll add 0 0.5 to it, and that'll be 2.5 cm, which I'll mark on the line between C and D, as shown. So on the line between A and C, I'll mark 1 cm on both sides, which I'll connect to the bust point. Since I have 1 cm here, I'll add 0 0.5 to it, and that'll be 1.5 cm, which I'll mark on the line between B and D. Take note that these measurements with the black marker are the standard measurements I use for all bra cup sizes. The next step is to connect the points together. Since a bra cup has curved edges, we need to implement a curved ruler to achieve the curved edges. Since we have four quadrants, the four edges need to be equal. And to do this, I'll place a straight ruler to support the curved ruler. Here I have three centimeters. Which I will then mark 3 centimeters on the four edges as shown. So the next step is to use the curve ruler to connect all points together.
since the pattern paper was folded into two before drafting you should have two bracos which will be the left bracop and the right bracop now i will pin the patterns to label accordingly in order not to make mistakes Next step is to take the patterns to the sewing machine to secure them together. So in order to do this, you place D on C. You also place B on H to secure the slant side by quarter of an inch. Previously, I've sewn the bracop for one side. So make sure you also take the pieces of the other bracop, then you attach them together the same way. So I'll be working with just one bracco because I don't want to take much of your time. So whatever I do on this first bracco is what you also do on the second bracco. Now the next step is to subtract about 0.5 cm from the bust point. So it isn't too pointed when soon. Now you should trim the excess part. Yeah, we are almost done. The next step is to place the patterns on the foam interfacing to trim out as shown. Now I'll label this cup as right cup and this is the upper part and this is lower part of the bra cup. Now I'll place the second template on the foam to trim out the left bra cup. The next step is to place one part of the foam on the other, then you secure by half an inch. Hi guys, so this is the outcome of the bra cup. It's very easy to make. I would love you to give it a try. This bra cup I made is for a size 34. I also have size 30 here too. So I decided to wrap the bra cup to make it neat you can decide to wrap yours too so i'll be dropping a link in the description box on how to properly wrap a bra cup all right guys thank you for watching and if you are new to my channel my name is nancy i want to appreciate you all because this family is really growing Thank fast and i'm so happy if you're new to my channel please subscribe share and like my videos bye